Hello there everyone and welcome back to Cosmic Redux, I'm your host, Mr. Cactus Jack Lover. But right now we're doing a little bit of that there uh, self-regulation, which is down here. New trade groups are seeking to court our favor by showing interest in upholding social values via industrial self-regulation, in which their respective industries ensure minimal quality of life for workers and respect for patriotism, starting with a new attempt by universities to stomp out Radical Five, which should promote any such industries to follow as small and provide them with small tax breaks. And we might also finish off stuff with uh, Hayes Code. Oh, we get more weekly stability. This one gives us more weekly stability. Uh, let's see. Protect American symbols. Let's do that one first. The radicals will destroy every symbol of Americanism due to their maddening totality of belief in class conflict. Enough! The government shall promote the heavier use of patriotic symbols via contact with industrial trade groups, use more American symbols on government property, and ban flag justification under penalty of a small fine. And Hayes Code. Following a promotion of self regulation, several Hollywood leaders under the motion picture producers and distributors of America have sought to be more in line with the current trend by assembling a code of ethics to be followed by the film industry and promoting social conservatism, which should help coordinate with them to write the guidelines to promote such films, which would be a great, great thing as we are continuing to influence and do really quite well here. Brown was joined brother of your age. I thought it right back initially. My bad. But we are doing quite well. we got quite a few comments to go through. Of course, it's 1939, which means it's going to be a fun, fun year for everybody. Right, Nicholas Keys? Of course. Of course. As we're just building up a pretty much massive industry at this point. Just, just massive. We can use a lot more chromium, though. Hmm. You start taking out nations to get a lot more chromium. Cuba. That's a lot of uh, factories gone, but you know what? I think we can afford it. I have a feeling we can afford it a lot. Uh, do it against Mexico. You never know what the Mexicans are up to. Or the Canadians, you know. You just never know. There you go. State of Puerto Rico. Well, Alaska and Hawaii both admitted to states of the Union. Representatives from Puerto Rico proposed that they should become a state of the United States of America. Shall they become the 51st state uh, of remain territory? Status quo. Even though we did get Alaska and the other one, so. Status quo, my friends. Status, status, status quo. Ah, uh, Smelly Butler. Um, let's see. Uh, can you actually do anything there at all? Can you continue bombing enemy logistics and whatnot? Stay here for Hawaii. Hawaii's proposed to Congress be admitted to the United States of America's state. Should Hawaii be admitted to the state with all the intelligence should remain territory? Uh, we'll go as a state for now. Not very socially conservative, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Comic Code's Authority. For the campaign against immorality, the Comic Code's Authority has been founded by the comic books industry to carve out much of the smut that makes up modern entertainment. It bans profanity, obscenity, smut, seduction, vulgarity, nudity, horror, excessive bloodshed, gory, or gruesome crimes, depravity, lust, uh, lust sadism, masochism, walking dead, torture, vampires and vampirism, ghouls, cannibalism, werewolfism, depictions of criminals in any positive light, the negative display of authority figures, and more. I also banned the words whore and terror in the titles, which has been met with accusations that's an empty attempt by, or is an attempt by John Goldwater and other figures at Archie Comics, the main force behind the CCA, to put the rivals out of business. Nonetheless, it's an attack on immorality and that one is not officially government as any a comic that does not abide by will simply not be given a CCA sticker. Very well. Donovan Sterling Hayden. Yeah, we'll go with you. Hayes Code. And at this point, we might as well just finish off this part of the focus stream. Social Gospel. A simple fact of economics, the wealth trickles down from the wealthiest to the less fortunate, we should ensure our citizens are aware of this new social gospel. Cool. Holy crap, we got a lot of political power, don't we? We get a two a day. That's ridiculous. I, I love that. Now we did go. Superior firepower. Division organization ain't bad. I think we'll go with MacArthur. Why not? Get more organization. Recovery rate, something I don't always choose, but sounds like fun. Ah, also it's ultimatum, very nice. You guys are aware. You're down here next to Mexico, which is totally fine with me. World at War once again? Oh boy. Well, some sort of tank group here eventually. Eventually. There you go. Sigma like Hadis Revolt, nice. And you'll be led by Chaffee. Actually, Chaffee dies eventually, doesn't he? He always dies, I think. Second Bell Creek, very good. I'm going to replace you actually with someone else then. Such as Eisenhower? Why not? Send the Marines down there too, that'll be fine for now. Uh, so since you're at war with a whole bunch of people, let's see volunteers. Send the motorized, why not? Universities refuse to support immorality. Universities in our nation are increasingly refusing to carry works that are labeled as dangerous and or uh, antisocial. Marx is hard left, offensive, and anti-American works are decreasingly being carried by universities and libraries, and universities such as UC Berkeley have agreed to apply the Leverating Act to their own universities, effectively banning communists and syndicalists from teaching there. A productive development. I would say that's very productive. 
It's 86% support for that Democratic Party? Cool. But do we have any more planes? Because I want to throw them in the fray pretty much immediately. Cool. Hayes Co. Alright. Probably need to take out Poland, in all honesty. Nothing like helping out the Germans take out a couple poles. I'll oh, go and do that one too, anyways, why not? Fiscal reform? Sure. We need a comprehensive reform of finance and banking system. Cutting back red tape, unnecessary regulations, and other roadblocks of success are what this country needs after the Civil War. Irish flirting with American businesses. We received news today that the Irish are doing their best to promote a newly modernized Dublin. It's a prospective center of trade and finance. Several of our leading industrial companies have been contacted, and it has been uh, suggested that we encourage them to set up shop in the Irish capital. We will uh, naturally reap some of the profits of this arrangement, which could be quite profitable in the long run. Of course, it will be more beneficial for the Irish. Um, we're still social conservatives. I think that'd be okay for now. American business. I mean, that makes I guess more sense technically. Social conservatives. Uh, we'll go that one for now. How are we doing over here? We're not even over there yet. Um, how many more can we send? BP. Oh, I've also got a war too. Cool. Yeah, I maybe should not have done it with uh, the Irish. I probably should have said no. Whatever. Here, just go on the line. Just kind of hold. Have fun. Cool. Are they there yet? Ah. Oh, they're actually attacking, aren't they? Yeah, I don't think those guys are going to survive for very long. Yeah, and then fiscal reform would be very good, too. Very, very good. So, comments include, Bro, I have an uncle who looks like this guy, Cactus Jack. Funniest thing is that even at every family reunion, he gets drunk and tells us how he used to fight with giant guys in high school. And how he was the lover of all the female teachers. I love him very much. He's a very funny guy. Well, very cool. Very cool. 91% conservative? Not enough. Fall of Warsaw? Nice. Industrial League for Clean Living. The Industrial League for Clean Living is a group of businessmen largely deriving from the Rotary Club uh, who are so in full agreement with our government policies. They pay workers extra, both the money and benefits, for being socially responsible, threatening to penalize individuals who are socially irresponsible. It's getting from abandoning children to drug use. Well, extra benefits that provide workers are popular. Some take issue with what they see as business leaders influencing their workers' lives, but also can be no doubt it's leading to positive social effects. A positive event. Nice. Oh, the social gospel, my friends. Let's go reform. Labor Management Act. Forward labor relations was the relations was a key spark behind the Civil War. We should ensure that the unions and other syndicalist groups have their power stripped away and that the business owners truly have their employers' interests in mind. Can we sit them down here? Yeah, we're doing really well, actually. Oh. Yeah, I got more rubber, huh? Very nice. Want it out, rubber it out. Yeah, we could use more rubber. I don't want us to get our own rubber. Extraction. Extraction. There, the Halifax Conference, which is no problem for us. So we are America. Almost 1940. Go and grab that, too, anyways. We're living here pretty badly. So be it. So be it. Oh, actually, put shouldn't into uh, Switzerland, huh? Cool. And what do we want to do here? Mm. Savage so arms ain't bad. Artillery manufacturers. Um. Soft attack. I like the soft attack. Yeah, 
Infantry equipment. Uh, let's go soft attack. What's this? Well, I did want an excuse to go to war. Sweet. Gonna show them what that Monroe Doctrine means. I'm gonna be led by this guy. Sure, why not? If we hear two, nope, that's all right. At this point, give all the Marines to this guy in the center, maybe. I'll give them all over here. Oh, I can't convert it? Oh, that's stupid. Um, actually. Hmm. Well, I guess our soldiers are going to have to come back then. So be it. Alright, well, let's see what happens. Another comment was uh, doing uh, some legitimacy in the eyes of soldiers while controlling and not upsetting them too, the right too much. That's a perfect solution to deal without any sort of opposition. Very cool. Someone said, I tried to try this with George Norris, trying to get a voice of war, and the USA ends up pretty powerful. It was a fun experience. Someone says, for foreign policy, can you do American imperialism? That's a good question. Unfortunately, you cannot, because this one says, you have to be authoritarian Democrat, paternal autocrat, or national populist. So, unfortunately, we cannot. Uh, since we're here anyways, so that too. Nice destroy. The, their navy is not going to stand up against us at all, for the most part. We lost a Valkyrie Gara sub, whatever, but, you know, I'm not too concerned about that. Find all the ships and just sink them all. Um, let's see, someone else says, go all in on social conservatism. Someone says, in Thousand Week Right, can you play as a Russian Republic with Nabokov as president? Yeah, we'll probably can, but I remember to do that. Someone else says, can you play as the Imperium Britannicum and Huey Lung in Kaiser Redux? Uh, someone else says, progressive USA with no civil war is my favorite path. I can greatly recommend that. Someone says, banning jazz is worse than the second American civil war. Someone else says, yes, hmm, Kaiser Redux USA, good ending. Someone else says, Travis Scott, save America. And someone else says, Captain Jess was based IRL. Please go the evil route, please, for the race. Uh, we shall see. We shall see. Momentarily. Um, there you go. Royal Wedding, cool. Labor Management and the Bureau of the Budget. Or, yeah, Bureau of the Budget. A balanced budget is key in running any state. None of this def deficit spending nonsense. We should only spend what we make, not a cent more. Pretty, pretty much. This is going to be kind of difficult to do, probably. Can we do well? We will see. You guys are not super thick. Thickish. I told you to force the attack. Could you win somewhere here? It doesn't have to be this style immediately. Oh, it's getting a little better from here to here to here to here. You might be able to win down here. Maybe. Saudi Almani War. They're not going to win here, unfortunately. There we go. In. And they're going to break there, hopefully, next, too. Come on. Keep going in. Oh, we're going to break in through here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got him. Nice. Good. Good.
Good. Oh, we lost that battle, but whatever. And we're gonna win here too. We lost quite a few guys here, but that's okay. There we go. Overall, I'd say successful. Three, three invasions landing. It's good stuff. We lost quite a few men for that. Ah, oh, ten thousand. Yeah, makes sense. There you go. Big old port. Uh, Haywood. Hey, okay, Kate. Codes backlash. The Hayes codes have caused a pol opposition amongst liberal activists who are calling the government prudes. And the reason article mocks us as wanting to outlaw all cinema. Maybe we should talk, should talk to the MPAA about loosening the rules a bit, although the Le Legion of Democ Decency and Hayes Code architect Joseph Brent would be about fanatically opposed to such a decision. Talk to them. Talk to them. Hmm. Talk to them. No, it seems like this makes more sense for being more social conservatism. Oh, we're on isolation. We have so many civvies to spend. Holy crap. This is nuts. Alright, so I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should go with federal, federal ban on race mixing, or we should do denounce racial hatred. And overall, the town's recording is quite a bit more support for... Federal ban on race mixing. Men such as Madison Grant have proclaimed that race mixing will cause nothing more than a downfall of Caucasian race. In accordance, the administration has declared that race mixing must, of course, be banned. And ban it we will. Oh, they just love attacking us like crazy. I'm not opposed to it. I guess it makes you guys stronger. Do you not have any planes around here? No more fighters. And followed up with that one is... Basically, you guys went with conditional blockade. Oh, it was overwhelming support. It will be given to black families to prove they can contribute to society in a meaningful way and do not foolishly cross established boundaries. We'll hold these families up as shining examples of black life, showing no tolerance towards those who choose to leech off others or push radical agendas. Must be learning a lot here. But I'm glad we're getting involved in something here. 23,000, not bad. He's more Cass. Let me keep attacking, that's fine with me. And then oppose radicals. Sinclair and Hurts have pushed radical and oftentimes offensive ideas on race. Let's maintain the traditional social order while making some adjustments to allow cooperative minority families to flourish. We neither turn the back of the clock nor leap into the abyss on this front, still we'll push reform, not revolution. Go and train. Why not? Why not? Oh, we need more rubber too, huh? Cool. The Nim Nimitron is invented. The chaos and instability of the last two decades finally subsiding as America triumphantly grows from the ashes of a great depression that has led Edward Condon, a nuclear physicist who had plenty of spare time on his hands. Westinghouse Electronics is brought to the purview of many American cities and the Nimitron, an invention of the previously mentioned Edward Condon. Rather than providing economic or tactical significance, it instead provides endless entertainment. Today we'll stimulate, stimulate a game of NIM, where it takes the role of one of the players. The player can turn off one or more of the bulbs in a row, and then the machine takes a turn doing the same, and so on. The last is extinguished the lights of the winner. A person who beats the machine no easy feat will receive a coin minted with the phrase NIM champion. Due to its novelty and the prospect of an albeit, albeit minor reward, has become very popular as to means. As means to both spend time and also forget the troubles of reconstruction. Little by little, our future gets a little brighter. Cool. The upcoming election, John S. Garner has been beating every political enemy he has faced in his first term in office, but new ones have risen to challenge his power. Largely seen as a humble and unassuming man, Garner is a political intriguer in reality, often making backroom deals to achieve his goals. His program of austerity through the storm, as well as the political strategy of repressing the leftist radicals of the North and the Midwest, have been successful, and order has finally been restored to a battered nation. But the battle is not yet over for Garner. If he wants to win re-election, he'll have to deal with leaders of the now-defunct ODP party, who sold sway over millions of voters and who are better at their treatment in recent years. <clears throat> 
At the same time, many ODP members and voters have switched over to the Democratic Party, where they have traditionally been, and even much of the ODP leadership has complimented Garner's emphasis on rooting out cynicalism in the country. Still, there's still much ground to be covered before official reunification of the two Democratic factions is achieved. In the meantime, while Reed and Long have been silenced, the Republican Party is as strong as ever, marshalling the outrage of Northerners and coastal elites against what they see as a dirty, simple, and crass man who is unfit to be president. If it is this hatred by Northeastern elites in particular that may trouble Garner in his re-election, the Catholics who voted for him in the last election may be less excited for his second term after his adoption of some ODP anti-Catholic rhetoric. Further, the party of machines in the region of the country, dissatisfied by Garner's lack of civility and sheer conservatism, will surely drag the feet of mobilizing urban Democrats. Many of these elites look down on Garner, already predicted a Republican victory in November for his part. Garner's determined to show the world just how wrong they are, and he's confident the party can achieve victory. Time will tell whether he is correct or not, however, and what we will do our best. <coughs> Hire black Americans. Discriminating against black Americans in the workplace will only hurt a country in our labor force if we were to compete with the major powers of the world. We must allow all people to get a job. Should they seek one? We'll encourage this behavior in the black community and show that black people can work just as hard as anyone else in new lily white movement. Segregationists have declared that politics is a place of white Americans. The parties in the local house will do its best to support only white candidates. Today, we received a request to receive a special delegation from the Cuban government. For the proposed structure of the new Cuban mission, it seems that it will be tasked both with assisting Cuba's existing diplomatic offices and more discreetly, attempting to curry favor directly with the regime. While the offer itself is surprising, our nations grow governed by regimes which would seem to be naturally opposed, perhaps though so accepting their overture would begin to repair a mutual relationship. I want Cuba under us. Paternal autocrats, huh? You know, for now, let's work together. In the future, we may not. You never know. But for now, I think we'll work together. Just for now. I also doing a lot of naval stuff, so honestly, production cost is not bad for carriers and heavy ships, but um, mm, cost won't really matter too much if we just keep making stuff. So, you know, cost will be pretty high. Mm. Light ships, carriers. Well, what auction do we go down for the naval stuff? We went down with base stocks. We want a lot of carriers, and we will get a lot of carriers. So, focus on carriers. Um, uh, ability that that's not bad. But really, you want more deck size. This is good. Newport News Ship Building. Plus 20% more deck size would be really good. Armor's not bad, but still. U.S. Naval Academy. I mean, that just makes sense. To get a Naval Academy here. Small ship, capital ship manufacturer. Let's go with the U.S. Naval Academy. Yeah. Also, we haven't expanded out here yet, but we are just flying on Ecuador because... Why not? Because we can. And at this point, I think we have enough planes. We should be able to do okay if we just do this. Well, in general. Of course, one division trying to fight that direction, so what do you expect? Oh, let's go in here too. We should have absolute air superiority. That's a lot of damage. No one doing well over there. Here, we're still going to struggle a little bit, but yeah, we should be able to just push out here and see what happens. Of course, we're still trying to hire black Americans. We have the social gospel. It's going great, 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 great. Just in case we need any more uh, logistics, we can put some stuff there. That'd be fine. Um, air base is, will be fine as well. Some radar here too. And put up the, the infrastructure here as well. It'd be great. Plenty of rubber. Could use a little bit more chromium from Cuba because our industry is doing quite well. Um, militia, infantry divisions, cavalry divisions. Actually, do we have? We oh, we do have military police. That's good. Oh, why are we using heavy armor for that? That makes no sense. There we go. And do local autonomy for now. That'll be good. That'll be very good. So doing a little bit of damage here. Not too much over in Venezuela, but we're still pushing in, which is good. Mm, you guys just pushing right there, which is fine. Up about right there, maybe. Losses, 20,000-ish versus 130. Wow, that's a lot of dead guys. That's a lot of dead guys, not gonna lie. Not a lot of manpower left for now. Oh, they're out, completely out of manpower. On extensive? Nice. Actually, very nice. Portable radios will be good. Any parts will be good as well. Of course, we're trying to dig up some entrenchment here. Hire black Americans. And we will get through here as well. You know what? Back in business. The nation seems some trolls, which means it could not act as an international power. Not as it deserves to be, but that now has changed. America is already to re enter the world stage. As it should be. As it should. Creation of the Armed Services Edition. With the collaboration of the graphic artist H. Stanley Thompson and the publisher and CWB executive Malcolm Johnson, Army Chief Librarian Raymond Troutman has proposed his idea of something. Armed Services Edition. Mass produced paperbacks selected by a panel of literary experts from among classics, bestsellers, humor books, and poetry. With the support of the Navy Chief Librarian Isabelle Dubois, the, chief, the project managed to reach Army High Command. While the proposal was set out a clause in, Chalman's proposal sparked controversy in the High Command meeting. As he stated that all books should be, in all circumstances, acceptable to both services, and that works with statements or attitudes offensive to our allies, any religious or racial group uh, not in accord with the spirit of American democracy should be discarded. 
Regardless of the controversy that it caused, the Army and Navy High Command agreed to give the project the green light with both branches offering their own printing process and the funding expand for the printing if necessary. Let's hope this time the books last. Well, let's see. So, I super events, of course, local agent, agent recruitment. Congolese earn this right to self rule. Um, how's the damage doing? Not bad. Not bad. Overall, pretty decent, I'd say. Uh, let's go there, guys. I don't think I'll be able to really stop you. At this point. Yeah. This will not fall before these guys do. Germany's removed from the Legation Council. Germany is at war with Russia as well. If you, I guess you haven't seen yet. Yeah, they were doing really well against their international. And then they're still fighting a civil war down here. Well, Russia's actually starting pushing a little bit too here. As well as... Ooh, that's not good. The vote fails. Well, whatever. Paris is a frontline city, though. Nice. Ah, Venezuela is gone. Go ahead and move on in there. That'd be great. Swarm and destroy if you can. Man, but some more infrastructure right there. Or we get some more supply, I guess, technically. Good, good, good. And Columbia should fall very soon, too, as well. We are back in business. Business. Gonna do that too. How are we doing on all this other stuff? We can still use a couple more military factories, of course. But what else is new? Thank you, thank you. Build, really build that Midwest. Very strong Midwest. Very, very, very strong. I'll probably get involved in Central America and stuff like that as well. Because it's not an American conservative game unless you get involved in Central and South America. It's just not an American campaign if you don't. Anything here. Um, overwhelming firepower is probably where we want to go. down here anyways and do that too there you go and what's up next because i do want to start getting involved down here so we'll do new interventionism new moralism is probably not bad honestly that that makes more sense though american anti imperialism is something i don't think we should do that seems more like a progressive thing maybe to do isolationism uh that makes sense defend the seas looking inwards business of neutrality that would actually make a lot of sense but i don't want to get involved in the world recluse for the american century because there's nothing for us to do when we do this. Not really. We could go to war there, buddy. Spirit of Monroe makes sense. Hmm. But this gives you more social conservatism here. Uh, End of the fray. Longer reach. Uh, Arsenal democracy. On the beaches. Maybe new interventionism. We don't want to keep our heads in the sand if we are to protect democracy. The Entente are, are indeed our only true liberal friends in this world. We must help them restore a place on the sun. Because I want to do that and start doing go down this way. Because I've done this before, but... Mm, League of American States. American anti-imperialism. But it would be just so boring. Defend them to help our allies prepare to defend themselves. Fortress America. I mean, honestly... Wow. The the political power cost minus 40? Holy crap. This would honestly make a lot more sense to go down for social conservatism, but I want to get involved because if we don't get involved, it's going to be really boring, like I said. So maybe some other day when we do this, when we don't go down with the maybe progressive route. We'll go down this way. Maybe not. so. Yeah, I think this, let's go with new interventionism. Yeah, we'll go that way for now. My bad, that's not the way you want us to go, but it, it just I want to just get involved more in the world. Sure, why not? There you go. Fit Columbia. We have a campaign across Columbia. We finally managed to shatter the Colombian defenses. But God's not in our hands. We must not settle in the future of Colombia. I, I, I always annex them. I always do. And I'm going to continue doing that just because of lag. So, Venezuela. I mean, in all honesty, we would probably just make them puppets, but... I don't want to make them puppets. It makes that game lag more. And my... I would probably just make them puppets, but Hollywood has decided to create the so-called Hayes Code, named after Will H. Hayes, leader of the Motion Picture Association of America. The stated goal of this legislation is to ensure morality in the film, but many see it as a way to subvert cynical themes of the films. Its effectiveness may be somewhat dubious, however, as a number of directors have shown great pleasure in skirting as close to the rules of the code as possible without breaking it. Make the movies better, of course. Here, since we are doing that anyway, so make sure your resistance doesn't get too high for now. Follow has been also. If you wanted to read about these ones. Um, 
Like new moralism for now, please go ahead. American isolationism, defend the seas, looking inwards, business neutrality, city on a hill. Of course, we did that one. Spirit of Monroe, which makes perfect sense for us, but still. Uh, American anti imperialism, anti empire league, warm Japan, so determination pact, middle Africa investigation, fortify the pact, navy. American broadsides, which we'll read, but let the people be reminded that it is not only unpatriotic to be suspicious of heavy foreign intervention, but quite the opposite, is what the founding fathers intended. The patriotic broadsides will adapt in support for the open imperialist position and bolster our own. A longer reach would not be bad. Entente Alliance. Oh, we could just join the Entente anyways. Let's go to war with them. Yeah, we could, yeah. Because we hate cynicalists. Entente Alliance. We need to ally the Entente, brother in capitalist democracy, against extremists and hostile imperial forces that threaten us both. When we help them take back their homeland, cynicalism will be destroyed and they will be a buffer zone, which would be probably the best thing. And let's go to war together. Um, uh, back to enemies. Um, against. I could war first before you do too much else. That cannot be a single shred. Single shred. Of. Cynicalism anywhere. In the Americas. Cool. Um. Empire Brazil, huh? Grand Peru, which actually... Yeah, these guys have a puppet here, too. So. Nice. We need some of that, too. Very good, very good, very good. Anything else here? Not really. Um, plans, 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 plans. Fighter 1s, 2s. We're completely over the air doctrine already. Actually, do we any of this stuff yet? Yeah, we have. Okay. Liability goes down a little bit more, whatever. Max speed. Nice. So we got good old Navy. And let's have a good old time over here, too. Uh, you know, we're going to suffer supply issues and whatnot. But what else is new? This is South America. Alright. Let's have a little bit of fun. Our apartment, nice. Finally they attack us, we attack them, what else is new? Nice, 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 nice. Oh, partnership with Cuba. Send a delegation for, to form a bilateral pact with friendship and military cooperation. Why not true allies for Sarah's Sh fates will surely become intertwined. For now, that's fine. It's fine for now. Oh. Why would you look at that? Sir, Bering armies walk, march from west to Russia. Good luck, guys. We're anti air. Would we be out of that? No, we wouldn't. That'd be actually very good to do. Um, I do want to get some recon tanks. Oh, actually. Oh, that anti air. We won't have any flame tanks, which would be. Hmm. What are we missing right now? Light tanks? Nineteen forty. Do I really want to be using light tanks? Get some flamers if we possibly can. So which means engineers too. Group light tanks, medium tanks. You know what? Start making some of these tanks. That'd be fine for now. But we'll convert them over later. Alright, so that's enough uh, marines for now. I think we can really use mountaineers. All right, over here. Anything else? Planes? Yes. Agility, carrier fighters get better. Yeah, Spartan aircraft sounds like fun. Great Lakes, Lockheed, Convener, Convener, Republic Aviation. Um, Glenn Martin. Well, let's go with you because we can. Yeah, fighting three is gonna suck hard. Now, if that's the case, go ahead and. Pause. We've lost a lot of guys in the battles already. Whatever. Fighting the mountain sucks. What do you expect? Let them attack us because supplies are just so bad. I'm not going to throw more soldiers on the ports over there, too. Let's, let's hang out first. Put up some supply stuff. And have a good old time. So after that, uh, you guys go right here, maybe. Uh, get some aircraft. That'd be great. 
1940's presidential election, though. The 1940 presidential election is finally here. Oh, during the on time. Thankfully, it's nowhere near as contentious as the previous election, and there's no looming specter of the country splitting along ideological seams. With this election, the National Unity Party coalition has been dissolved. <clears throat> Polls have been closed, and the winning White House and a large number of seats in the Congress are... A Democratic Party. Who could have seen that one coming? We did. All right. And next, we shall do... Oh, we did... Yeah, don't know Stabilize the East. That would be too bad. Patriotic broadsides, of course. This went up, and then... Anti-syndicalist alignment. Syndicalism was a major threat to the country in the recent crisis. While we, of course, do not support imperialism, there is no negotiation with syndicalist powers. We'll take a strong anti-syndicalist stance and warn syndicalist nations of standing against us or keeping the government in the process of doing so. The Fifth Party System The U.S. is generally accepted to have gone through four different party systems during its existence in which one party or another was dominant. While some consider Fifth Party to have already been started, it's an undeniable that a new one is forming in the aftermath of the last election. In the wake of John S. Garner's victory in the election, the negotiations have followed. The Democrats have once again become the dominant American party, but even as the party surges, so too do their opponents. The Republican Party has drawn up upon their radical Republican and Rooseveltian progressive legacy, calling themselves the Farmer Labor Party. They've brought forth Norris voters, cynicals, most long supporting populists, and other left wing elements are to the table. While they cannot change the fact that the Democrats were victorious in the election, the opposition now has the resources and support they need to seriously challenge the Democrats in the subsequent elections. And the all two party system or arrangement seems to be forming once again. Fools. Fools, 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 all of them. Well, wow. all we have are two parties now. Farmer Labor versus Democratic. Now we're doing uh, uh, anti-syndicalist alignment. As much as I like this one, we're going to avenge Mexican crimes. For decades, America has been invaded by the rogue state of Mexico. It's time to avenge the crimes because rogue and the state has committed on innocent citizens to Montezuma. Also, we did join the Entente, of course, like we said last or saw last time. And now we're at war with the Third International. So, it is what it is. We still haven't invaded too much, but we're in the Entente. And the Rex Pack's trying to fight off the Third International. Uh, Jimmy's doing okay against, and awkwardly doing really, really well, and doing really well-ish down there. So other than that, um, we're just kind of hanging out and getting ready to probably invade Mexico. All right, everyone. So right now we are stabilizing the East as we're still slowly going through Grand Colombia, but we've done fun local segregation. While we can now enact national Jim Crow, we can favor localities that choose to engage in racial segregation via monetary rewards and political cover. We have made much progress in the area of racial policy, yet now we must deal with the repercussions of that. We will sure reassure conservatives that society remains separate and that no racial mixing will occur. Society will be separate but equal and encourage integration. There's no reason why blacks and whites cannot live together in harmony. As long as family values are upheld and hard work remains an American tradition, there's no reason to oppose integration. Uh, we'll pursue this policy as soon as possible, regardless of what critics might say. Honestly, this sounds like uh, this should be all mutually exclusive, like up here. We can, we're fighting local segregation, but encouraging integration as well. And calming racial conservatives. So it sounds like they should be more separated, but you know, whatever. Um, other than that, we have been doing uh, Stabilize the East. We must support Eastern allies and bring the Philippines under our wing and protecting, providing protection to them and others. Now we can stop Southern cynicalism, or we can do Banana Republics. I kind of like this one. In Central America, brave companies have yet gone into the jungle for the Elevator Brothers and Revolution. Help develop the poverty ridden lands of Central America. We must fully support this endeavor in whatever way they may need. And sphere of influence? Yes, please. With the sphere of influence in the Americas, we can bolster our businesses with the connections we have gained there and further to gain diplomatic power in the process. And the Western Empire. We have our opening to the vast resources of South America that the Iberians once believed belonged to them. We can allow the various radicals to consolidate in the region, for the, nor for the governments to grow too powerful for the, when the resources are absolutely necessary to American power and location to American security. The back door of America shall be a long last secured. An American Panama. Of course. With Panama back in the American hands, we will not make the same mistake we once did. We'll invest it so the region is truly ours and send military officers to stomp, them out, stomp out opposition before finally sending more Americans to live there in luxury, bringing prosperity with them. Well, everyone, the Italian Federation is looking pretty good. This war is still raging in Spain. Germany is actually surrounded Paris. Of course, Austria didn't intervene in the Weltkrieg, which is why Russia is not doing so well. And they're actually getting kind of kind of crapped on right now. But, you know what, whatever. Middle Africa has exploded. We are still invaded through South America. Grand Colombia's capitulated, which is always good. We've also made it Mexico because... Why not? But we're still doing our sphere of influence, and we can't do the giant of the West, unfortunately, but whatever. But we'll do a longer reach. Maybe we'll project our power onto the rest of the world. Oh crap, my bad. Um, you know what, since they took this, I think it technically Canada took them out, but whatever. It's ours now. Um, let me see. Longer reach. If we project our power into the rest of the world, we must achieve the ability to do so through our naval power. End of the fray. America belongs on the world stage, and while we are hesitant to be drawn into foreign alliances, we will not hesitate to use our military might to stamp out threats around the world that will eventually find us, of course. So this looks great. Now we got all to deal with this stuff here. Thanks, Mr. America. Um, I mean, I always annex him, and I really shouldn't, but be independent. Military occupation of loyal Central America. 
direct rule from Washington. Same thing about Mexico. I'm sorry. It just... To me... This game... This mod lags enough, but this, this one... West Indian lands? No, I'll keep it off for now. This point, Mazda just to take out these guys, too. Work with the Italian allies. I've agreed. The Italians have readily agreed to our offer, and the buys are already en route, which is great. Yeah, Mexico wasn't too bad. They were a little contesty, but, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, not bad overall. We do have war goals for Costa Rica, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic, which is nice. Um, you guys can come down here. They can do these guys. Um, we actually probably need a couple more divisions down here anyways. You come over there. You guys come down to Brazil. Everyone loves Brazil, right? Everyone loves Brazil. Ah, uh, so this army's just trying to do as much as they possibly can, but they're split up way too much. So we'll get down here. We'll do all right. And we'll continue building up a lot more uh, bases and stuff like that. Because we ran out of stuff to do with our economy. The economy is just chugging along so nicely, it's kind of ridiculous. So. And we were out of artillery as well. So. Cool. There you go. We'll do a lot of stuff there. And I guess we have the medium basic tanks, but that's not going to be enough. So we have influence, of course, led by Cactus Jack, who did win the elections. No issue. And we'll probably need to raise a conscription level too. Limit conscription? Not going to hurt very much. We also have IEDC engineers, which drastically improves how fast we can build stuff up, which is awesome, 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 awesome. And hopefully Chile or Chile will capitulate soon. Because by God, do we need them to capitulate? By God, do we need them done? We have IEDC. No, we're good. And we're doing some blueprint stealing as well, which is a great thing. We just invade there, but eh, let's keep going on for now here. Mexico did try to, like... Oh. Publication of the book, Archaeology of the North Coast of Honduras. You're that, please go ahead. Yay. That's a good thing as well. Ah, Chile. Good. Oops, my bad. Now that's good. Ooh, just please, for the love of God, do not get surrounded, you ding-dongs. Oh, you're going to get surrounded, aren't you, you ding-dongs? Fall. Oh, there goes Fall of Paris. Let me get over here. One solid front line. Just do it like that. Make it easy for everybody. Alrighty. Oh. A lot more combos coming out now, which is cool. And we'll do a longer reach. It'll be great. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is not bad. The international definitely not doing well now. Now that Siberia came. Since Siberia came into the war, we've been doing alright. More ships, which would be great. Ace pilot promoters, which is nice. You guys come over here, and you guys come over here, which would be awesome, 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 awesome. So we start doing Ireland and Bay of Biscay, maybe. Really start hammering home some more of this. Drifting up more of our power overseas. We'll probably finish this campaign in the next episode. So, enter the fray, of course, like we read earlier. The Arsenal of Democracy. The good neighbor policy necessitates an internal program to ready arms for future conflicts. This Arsenal of Democracy is a present cause that will enable us to supply war material to the, even the hardest to reach places on other continents, and serves a fine tyranny cynicalism. Entente Lend Lease. The Entente Battle requires support, and they should receive both, both the arms we have built. See with them, and on the beaches. Our enemies must fear American soldiers landing on the shores, and to that end, we must work to ensure that we have the skill and power to take advantage of our long reach. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll hopefully win against the Third International. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.